Some great news today with the release of Flash Builder 4.5. I thought I'd share some of my favorite new features for mobile development. It's really easy to do and I'll just walk you through it now. Let's right click New Flex Mobile Project. I'll create a new project called Hello Mobile. Click Next. I'll choose one of the templates, in this case View Based Application, and click Finish. Now the project gets created and we'll see a first view that automatically gets created for us as well. This view has a default title which we can change simply here in the property. I will say contact manager. You can jump into design view and then drag in some component, in this case a list component. And um, I'll constrain that to nicely fit on the available real estate. So 10 pixels from the right, 10 pixels from the bottom. And what I'll do now is just copy in some dummy data so we have something to show in the list component. Now the idea here is that if we click one of these items we navigate and we transition to a detail view and that detail view then shows some data we can go back and um, that's basically it. So what do we have to do? Well create that detail view obviously so we right click this views package say new a MaxML component and we just give it a name, I'll say detail view and this detail view will then show in its title the selected item so how do we do that? Well we can set up a binding so here in the title we can use the curly brace syntax which we all know is data binding and we can just say data here. Okay What's next? Well, we have to go back from this uh, detail view, so we'll add a button as well. We'll nicely align this in the middle and we'll give it a label of go back. It's still centered here. Okay. And in the source view, I can add a click handler. And this click handler, we say navigator dot pop view. And this will remove the view and go back to the main view automatically for us with a nice transition. Now we go back to this um, first view and here we'll need to set up a listener for the click event that passes in the detail of the selected item and transitions to the detail view. So I'll go to source in the list component here I'll say id is contact and I'll set up that click handler saying when clicked I want the navigator to push a view and we give the class name here so I'll say detail view that's the name of our uh, mxml file in the views uh, package and the second argument is optional but you can pass some data in there so in this case we're going to pass in the selected item of our contacts list so I'll say contacts dot selected item Close the parentheses, and that's it. We can try our application now. When I click this debug button, you'll see that a configurations panel will sh show up. And here you can choose one of two things. Either you can debug this on your desktop by simulating a device, or if you have a smartphone or a tablet plugged in, you can actually test it over USB or over Wi-Fi. So in this case, we'll test it on the desktop. I'll select one of the devices. In this case, a Nexus 1 for example. Click apply and click debug. And you'll see we have our contact manager with a list we can scroll through. I can click one of the items here. It automatically navigates to that with a nice transition. You'll see that the title has been updated by the data we passed to the other view. And when you click the go back button, it automatically moves back to this first view. So literally, this is 2-3 minutes to build a mobile application with multiple views, transitions. But now comes the cool part. You can even have this persist the data without having to write any code. So if you go to the first MXML file, in this case hello mobile.mxml, I can just add a property. 
and that property is called persist navigator state and it will do some magic for us if we set this to true and we test our application again you'll notice that it actually remembers the view that is open when you close the application and you launch it again you'll see that the correct view still opens up so it remembers where you've been when the application gets closed and you open it up again all the data is still there for you so that's excellent for mobile development really easy just a few lines of code very easy to create more views navigate between them you can also overwrite this create your own transitions it's great fun it's really easy so have fun with flex 4.5 and flash builder 4.5